Why, hello YouTube, it's the 19th of June, 25, and I have two new toys that I want to show you all in this video today. You've all seen that, that's the Mini P10, but I now have this and that. Actually, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do this. I meant to do this, I'm not giving my AR timer the middle finger. But yes, I did get an AR timer from West Shore Services, sight unseen. Uh, I did get an AR, let me try that again, I did get an AR timer, sight unseen, bought by a friend who was doing an omnibus trip for a bunch of people at West Shore. I will show you inside of that. I also made my own custom power supply for doing minis and other things that I might need it for. And since there's no point in sitting on the outside. Let's go on the inside of both these things and I'll show you what they're like on the inside. So here's the inside of my AR timer. It's currently live with 120 volts. I modified it to accept, realize I just had to drill four small holes in the side of the cabinet and now I can power heavy loads with the AR without actually running power through the micro switches. And then that will take us, we've all seen the insides of ARs before, but this will take us, I have no idea what what era this AR is from other than it is a Federal Signal AR, so it's like post-75. But I could not find any kind of a date stamp or code or anything on it. So I do not know when it's from. And then the second toy that I have is this custom designed and 3D printed uh, power supply. I've got a volt gauge, and I've got an amp gauge on it. And then the bottom here I've got terminals for positive and negative. I have a switch and I have a speed controller in here too. I hope that's coming up. Yes, you can see that. I do have a speed controller here and I can switch back and forth between the outputs. And this will be for powering uh, my minis and anything else that I want to work on. And so here's the inside of it. And I take, and when I open up the lid, you can see inside it's actually fairly, fairly spartan in here. I have a rectifier off the power supply, computer power supply, to a uh, breakout or to a uh, work box lid as a heat sink. Two transformers wired up with uh, center tap. Two capacitors for smoothing, a switch circuit breaker, and a speed controller unit that I talked about earlier. And all I have to do to close it is just tighten down one screw. And so depending on how I want to do this, I can either power it straight or I can power it with the speed controller. And I have the gauge, I have the gauges wired up so that I can go back and forth easily between each one. And then when I kick the power out, it just slowly dies. And I'll plug in the Mini P10. Even that doesn't have much of, a, of, a, of an impact. Okay, so I know you're all here to actually see the AR timer do its thing. And so I'm going to hit attack. And for the first time, you are going to hear my, uh, my Mini P10 do three minutes of attack.
That, my friends, is three minutes of proper alert done with an AR timer on my Mini P10. And there the cycle light just cycled off. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe.